Hi guys. I actually want to show you today something which I, yes, you have seen it on my um, photo slideshow about my life history, but I still keep the pictures which a couple of photographers <laughs> actually did and I keep them since all over these years. Not much left, unfortunately. I don't have many from the military anymore and those which I have I can't post online so as everybody knows <laughs> I love to play drums there was a beauty in Cambodia I did with her the first TV spot for top one oil she drove cross bikes and she became a big movie star later I did later with her another movie um, all right so let, let's start from there there was quite yeah I had a few kilos more a steady came up right up there was in Germany when I yeah just bought that steady came a day before that's my baby later in Cambodia in the film school where I'm teaching that's in a movie shooting he's a big singer star he did with me his first movie ever so I need to talk fast because I don't know that's to the world uh, ice skate speed skating world cup that was a movie shooting in Malaysia so I don't even know where I had to start hold on guys so that one people have seen it it was shortly before I became a Buddhist monk and I was ordained by my king the supreme patriarch Samdaich Tepong and that is Teswana my teacher so to make it very short I have to go through that very quick that was after I became a Buddhist monk I walked 350 kilometer from Phnom Penh, from the temple, from the main temple to that master, he's a magic master, he's the cousin of my of my king he couldn't believe it, I was walking to him 350 kilometers so um, then yeah, I studied with him then I worked in, 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 in Siam Reap province and in uh, some other provinces People who know me, I was a field paramedic. And yeah. So I treated kids with diseases. You can't even imagine. We had that man as an old soldier. They throw him away on the rubbish dump site. I'm not fucking kidding. He passed away unfortunately a week later. But that's a story what I can tell you about him you wouldn't you wouldn't believe it. That was uh, one of the ministry of the culture, the excellency, one of my best friends who helped me a lot to become even a Buddhist monk in Cambodia. That young girl stepped behind her house on a landmine and lost both of her legs. So we took care of her. These kids they live in a rubbish dump site. Most of them, yeah, they, they, yeah, obviously homeless. Most of them, they don't even have parents. That's our first school we built for homeless street kids. So that's the crew. I need to check the light. These are the kids later. So it's just to show you how we how we built this. We had 45 kids in the beginning, something like that. Now we have a second school building. I do not have the pictures of this because I left the monkhood after this already. That was in the in, in the front of the royal palace. The king honored me with the golden Buddha and put me in Malaysia on a <laughs> where actually he's supposed to sit, but he was ill. He couldn't sit there. Uh, yeah, he couldn't go to, to Malaysia. It's a, a very big event. Behind me walking hundreds of monks they put me like a king over there. I, I just couldn't believe it. People were kissing my feet and, and prime ministers and 
guys, I'm not fucking kidding. These kids that live on a rubbish dump site, we always went there and, and, and when we got yeah, donations. So that's Bindabad, what you do every morning. That was to a big event. That was a big event when China, eh, uh, not China, um, Vietnam, you know, donated this, this, uh, bell. <laughs> Jesus, my English. There was on my way when I walked, start walking 350 kilometers to Angkor Wat. And yeah, I arrived in Angkor Wat, but these pictures are unfortunately not here. There's some of my stops in Malaysia with some other high ranking monks and uh, do some kind of demonstration here. I'm teaching students around the world. That's a very, very rich Chinese Malaysian people. They supported our school. <coughs> Where are we? <coughs> our school a lot. And not just our school. And, you know, do I really need to say so much more? It was, it was just to show you a bit. <sighs> I just showed it to some friends and I thought I need to organize them anyway again so I thought I'd just put them and show them to you and explain you a little bit the stories behind like I said especially about about Contea that girl she has new uh, physical legs right now and she lives in a different uh, NGO very very all these kids they are so happy they take a nap, they sleep on the floor. That's normal, because Cambodia is, is damn hot, you know. But that, trust me, I feel, I felt like a king, like a real king. Guys, these are memories in my life. And when you get on up with the golden Buddha, you do not forget this in your life. Stay safe, everyone. It doesn't matter about the, your religion. Many people may say, oh yeah, uh, I don't care about that. But that guy is still shooting guns and, 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 <sighs> yeah, reading this kinds of books and whatever. But that's who I really am. Yes, I love shooting. But I do take care of people. Rest in peace. He was a soldier. Let me tell you the story. He was a soldier. He, I found him under rubbish dump outside in front of my pagoda. He almost died. I took him in the hospital. He, may, he got better after one week. But the story behind, when I had to go to this event, to this event, and I had to leave him in, in Cambodia, I had to go to this event where they honored me over there. In the night, when they honored me, you guys may call me crazy. Whatever, I, got, I don't give a fuck. He came in the middle of the night to me. I woke up, he was sitting in front of me and he said goodbye to me. I didn't know him, I just saved him. There's videos on my, on my, on my public Facebook page where I still about 60, 70,000 followers. There you can see videos of it, how I saved him, how I brought him to the hospital and Kuntea as well. The girl who lost her legs. <sighs> there was a reason why I became a Buddhist monk. I respect every religion. It doesn't matter if you believe in Allah, in, 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 in Jesus Christ, or whoever, as long as you are a good human being. Do something fucking good every single day. 
that's all for today and I think I spoke quite a lot. One last view that is just a very short part actually of my life. Okay, that part is quite a longer part of my life. <laughs> the filming and from the military there's nothing here for a reason. That is the biggest part of my life and I'm right now playing drums again. And she will always in, me, in my memories, Saraya Sakana. And she's married right now, she has three kids and lives in America. Amazing actress and she started with me, she wasn't even an actress, this was our first TV spot for Top One Oil and later, you can see it on my Facebook, I have behind the scenes with her and 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 and, and the uh, movie teaser trailer and I died in this movie as well <laughs> because I was not just a DOP and Steadicam operator, the second DOP and the, yeah, the only Steadicam operator but I got killed by a serial killer nurse in this movie, I'm not fucking kidding. It was, but she didn't kill me. It was another beautiful one. I do not have a fucking picture of her. There was a concert in German prison. <laughs> yes, it was my band. <laughs> Did you ask me if I was in, in prison? <laughs> All right, guys, stay safe. That's where I live. I talk quite a lot today, but you know guys, I take care.